What's happening guys? This is Bharat Nagpal for iGan.in and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Sony Ericsson Text Pro or the TXT Pro. This is a new QWERTY slider phone from Sony Ericsson. It's a fairly cheap phone. Comes in at an MRP of about 8000 rupees but you can get it in the market for much cheaper. Uh, without further ado, uh, we are going to unbox this right now. Uh, unfortunately, the only device that we could get is the pink color but this does come in multiple colors. So uh, you can find a color of your choice. So uh, let's quickly go ahead and unbox it. First and foremost we get a USB to micro USB data cable which is also used for charging the device. You also get the Sony Ericsson hands-free kit. This one is a fairly nice and deep bass hands-free kit from Sony Ericsson. It also has an inline microphone and a button to send in end calls uh, and a 3.5 mm audio jack. We have the Text Pro. I'm going to just look at that after we're done with the box contents. Uh, we have the standard Sony Ericsson green heart charger which has a USB port on one side and a standard 3 pin Indian pin system charging adapter and you get a whole lot of documentation over here and you get the battery. The battery is a 1000 mAh battery and uh, let's look at the documentation over here. Uh, we get a usage guide in Hindi, a user guide in English, you get the warranty certificate, uh, the SAR information FCC statement, so that's a bunch of legal documentation and uh, the full user guide is here in English. You also get important information in Hindi and English as well. So that's everything from the box. Uh, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at the device itself. So this is the new Sony Ericsson Text Pro. I'm going to remove the plastic cover. So on the top over here is the earpiece along with a bunch of sensors here and an LED notification light. Uh, below that is a 3 inch screen. This screen is a 400 by 240 pixel screen. It's a 265,000 color screen. Uh, below that is the center home button or the main primary button. On the right hand side of the device is a dedicated camera button along with the volume rocker. On the top over here is the lock, unlock and power button along with a 3.5 mm jack for uh, your headphones or your hands-free kit. So a micro USB port for charging, data syncing and you have an LED light notification indicator here as well. There's nothing on the left hand side of the device or on the bottom. On the bottom left over here you have two small holes for attaching a lanyard or a charm if you would like to do that. On the back here is a 3.2 megapixel camera which is a fixed focus camera along with the Sony Ericsson logo and the loudspeaker over here. Sliding out the Text Pro reveals this really nice and tactile keyboard which is on the device and uh, this is a really nice chiclet style keyboard on a mobile phone. The keys are really nicely laid out and they are separate from each other. Looks like a really easy to use keyboard. Removing the back cover reveals the battery slot and the SIM card slot. You also get a micro SD card included in the package. You get a 2 GB micro SD card. So uh, that's good. Let's quickly put in the battery and see if this device has any power. So this is the main lock screen on the Sony Ericsson Text Pro and uh, this is the main home screen. You have four shortcuts on either corner of the screen. You have a quick messaging shortcut, a quick internet browser shortcut, the contacts and the phone dialer. You can also pull out the full menu from the bottom over here. The touchscreen on the device is a capacitive touchscreen and it's a very responsive uh, touchscreen is that. Uh, you also have a bunch of applications that come preloaded on the device. You also have Facebook, Twitter clients preloaded. You also have a Google Talk client which is preloaded on the device. Apart from that you have Gmail, Awkward, uh, a Quarter Pop game, a BB Revolution game, a Nightlife game, a bunch of other things such as uh, a video player, music player. You have a Play Now and Track ID uh, application on this as well. So you get all your basic social networking and multimedia applications preloaded on the device. The touchscreen on the device is really responsive. This is the Sony Ericsson camera application, a fairly nice camera and you have a dedicated camera button here as well to click pictures and uh, as you can see that the picture click was fairly decent. 
and uh, pretty good quality picture focus is also pretty decent uh, you can also switch from photo mode to video mode this will record video and vga so you don't expect hd video quality from this camera apart from that uh, you also have an fm radio the music player alarm clock the standard settings application you also have an email uh, client so you can read and receive emails you will notice that this device has an accelerometer here as well so it will shift from portrait to landscape automatically and i'm going to quickly show you the keyboard on this device so you can quickly go ahead and uh, use the on screen keyboard to type the on screen keyboard is a full sized uh, numpad keyboard but if you want a qwerty keyboard uh, you can slide out the main keyboard from behind the device and uh, this keyboard is fairly fast and i'm going to demonstrate that right now fairly fast and easy to use keyboard on uh, the Sony Ericsson Tech. So we are trying to uh, play this video from YouTube on this via Wi-Fi. We connected via Wi-Fi and we are trying to play this video. So uh, not all websites open properly in the browser and YouTube videos do not play back on this device. But the device is really fast and responsive, uh, has a really loud speaker here as well. Uh, let's see if we can play some audio files here. As you can see the loudspeaker is great, it's really loud and clear and uh, the device has a really nice build quality as well. We especially like the slider mechanism on the keyboard over here, it's uh, really a solid mechanism, it's a spring loaded slider mechanism so uh, you just need to uh, slide the device a little bit and it will slide back into place. Uh, the build quality is really nice and uh, the chrome accents on all sides of the device are really good. Overall this device seems to be a really good device uh, with a limited uh, functionality not all websites are loading properly on this as we tested and uh, YouTube videos and all don't play back uh, but you do have Facebook access, you do have Orkut and a bunch of social networks on this. Uh, fairly nice user interface, very responsive capacitive touchscreen. Uh, the interface is also really nice. So there you go guys, this was the quick unboxing and quick review of the new Sony Ericsson Text Pro. Uh, this is a budget QWERTY slider phone from Sony Ericsson priced at about 8000 rupees in the market. You can get it for a little cheaper at the retailer. Has a full sized uh, QWERTY keyboard and uh, really nice and small form factor. Really uh, well built and uh, the touchscreen is a nice and vivid 3 inch touchscreen with a WVGA resolution. You have a 3.2 megapixel camera at the back. For more unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials log on to iGAN.in or subscribe to our YouTube channels, so it's youtube.com slash iGAN and youtube.com slash iGAN TV. iGAN TV is the new channel, so subscribe to that if you want to take part in contests and giveaways. Uh, please leave your comment and feedback in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you can log into our forums at iGANforum.com and leave your questions over there. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter and on Google+. Plus. The links to those are in the description below or at the end of this video. This has been Bharat Nagpal for iGAN.in. Thank you for watching.